All right, this is Mr. McMurray on an early Tuesday morning, and we're here doing the Atomic Structure Worksheet because what would we rather be doing on a Tuesday morning, right? Okay, so uh, we're going to use the Atomic Worksheet. You will need your chart, a periodic table that looks something like uh, that. Okay, the fancy one we have, okay. And if you don't have one, you have to let me know, and I can email you one. But anyhow, um, so uh, we have different elements, and we're going to give this information about it. Okay, the atomic number, the mass number, that would be the atomic mass number, but we just shortened it to mass number, so it fits in there. Number of protons, number of neutrons, and number of electrons. Now, to do this one, first of all, aluminum. You have to look it up on the chart, and on the chart... Uh, it would give you this information right here, element number 13, AL, and 26.982 technically, but we just rounded that off to 26.9. Okay, so in the first box, you put the symbol. Make sure that you uh, capitalize the first letter, small letter for the second one. All right, if there is a second one. All right. Now, for the atomic number. Well, the atomic number is equal to the... Top number up here is a whole number. Okay, so we just put 13 because it's just a number. However, that number is also, you notice, the number of protons, the atomic number, number of protons, the atomic number are the same. So over here, we're going to put 13, but now we're talking about 13 protons. So we're going to put P and a plus to show that it's a positive. P positive is the symbol for uh, protons. All right, now, since this does not have a charge, it doesn't say plus one or minus one or anything like that. That means it is neutral. And so the electrons is the protons minus the charge. Well, 13 minus 0 is going to give you, you guessed it, 13. So 13, but these are electrons, so we put E minus, okay? That's the symbol for electron. All right. Now, for the mass number, uh, we're going to look at this bottom number, 26.99982. Let me just go ahead and put that up there. I think I'm going to after all. Um, eight two, okay. Um, well, obviously, you can't have 0 0.982 of a uh, proton or a neutron. So uh, this is actually the average mass. Some atoms have more neutrons than others. Of all aluminum atoms, are going to have 13 protons. That's what makes it aluminum. But it may have different numbers of neutrons. And so uh, this is the average. If you took all the different weights of the different atoms, you get this average. We're going to round it off to 27 AMUs because since the number is almost 27 anyhow, that tells us that um, there are going to be, um, most of them have 27. Obviously some of them have less, but most of them have 27. All right, and so that gives us the atomic mass. Now this is the protons and the neutrons added together. So if we have 13 protons and we have 27 protons and neutrons, or think of it this way, 27 protons and neutrons, but 13 of them are protons, how many of them are neutrons? Well, we would subtract 27, the mass, minus the protons, and we would get 14. All right, now for neutrons, symbol is going to be N, and then it's going to be plus minus, which is kind of hard to do on a computer, but I'm going to try it here, see if I can underline that. Maybe that'll do it course. All right, so 14 neutrons plus or minus. All right, and that would be it for that line. We go to the next one is PU. Well, PU, besides stinking really bad, is down here at the very bottom, so it stinks to find it, I guess. All right, anyhow, uh, if you look at it, it is element number 94, which you may have noticed from the information I put it up here at the top, so whatever, but plutonium. All right, so first of all, let me write the name out. All right, it is element 94, so it's atomic number. Whoops, I don't know where I did that at. Let me find it, get back there. Okay, um, the atomic number is 94. That means the protons is 94. And somehow I got into something else besides uh, text box, but there we go. All right, so this is 94 protons with a positive charge. All right. And since it's neutral, as all these are going to be neutral, um, it is going to be uh, 94 electrons with a negative charge. 
All right, then the mass number is going to be the bottom number. In this case, since this is a radioactive element that they really don't know all the different uh, man-made for the most part, we don't know all the different isotopes, uh, we are just going to put the mass number. It's nice and rounded off for us already. 244 AMUs. All right, and if we subtract these two, I believe you're going to get 150 neutrons and plus negative there. All right, uh, you would just continue to do that for the rest of the whole worksheet. That sounds like fun, does it not? And when you get done, you may submit it through Cami. All right, have a good day.